Good morning. Okay, so foundational riffs, I call this. We're going to look at a D minor 7 to start to G7, 2 5. Every song we play has a 2 5 in it. So here is my sort of go to foundation right here if we look. D minor triad. Here's your minor seventh. Now watch this. Right, right there. Remember one of the first chords we learn is D seventh. Well, there it is, G seventh related right to the minor seventh. So that is the first foundational riff I want to work with. put on a track really slow and we're going to do that then we're going to go over some different positions because you need to work with this and know all the options of where to go so okay nice and slow good tone two three four some music with it using some rhythm. the idea you're probably familiar with that now let's look at it from here okay let's practice that basically we're substituting the first note onto the second string three four one two three Instead of going horizontal, we're going to put the first D back here with our second finger. Okay, let's practice that. One, two, second finger on the seventh fret. Now you 
your first finger as a starting point. See that? The F will go now on the third string. start sit okay now we're going to continue our little pursuit of the fingerboard here watch this you see that we're moving up the fingerboard now First finger. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Shift. Shift. Okay, now we're going to substitute that D on the twelfth fret third finger. We're back to a very common position here. to the D. Okay, we'll start with our first finger. See that? We started. Now we're putting it down the lower octave. Okay, and then the second one we're going to do, we're going to start with our fourth finger. Succession. I uh, encourage you to look at all four fingers as the starting point and come up with as many ways as possible to play this foundational riff, if you will. All right, so let's work in the lower octave, then we'll improvise a little bit using this little concept. One, Two, first finger, fifth fret, A string. Also notice the B can be there on the fourth string. You want to know your options here. track on you're going to improvise a little bit go around the fingerboard different fingers as a starting point using okay now i want to encourage you to now check out some of the other notes especially the first one to five finish the phrase on the g7 
three, one. Use rhythm, you see that? Okay, all based on a foundational little riff there. Okay, I'm going to put it on, back you up, go for a few minutes, and we'll continue. A one, two, three, four. Good. So now, watch this. Okay. Up the scale. Down the arpeggio. Landing on the third of G7. Always know. Instead of ending always on bead one, you end on the end of one. Three, ah. Three, four. Okay, let's try that a few times through. All the positions you want, I'm going to stay right here. Move around a little bit.
start up to the minor seventh and chromatically to the B. off with that B, G. that idea and try to be creative with it. Using rhythm. Off beat sub. Try to make some music with that foundation. Here we go. The foundation, which we've talked about in previous classes, is the major seventh arpeggio, starting on the major seventh. Okay, that's kind of the real foundation. Okay, let's 
let's just do that a few times through. And then we'll make that our own here. Okay, look at that, perfect. Okay, here we go. D minor 7, G7, like we were doing. Now the C major 7th arpeggio. for the major seven. That's a great foundation riff right there. Chromatic from the major seventh to the fifth. You descend on the arpeggio, even continue that concept. Instead of, if you want to expand, instead of going to the G, go to another note in the chord, maybe an F, which is the seventh. To the G instead of down to the G. Go up the. That's one of my favorites. Which is the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth. starting to sound like an improvised line, all from the foundation. great thing if you're in the position you know the foundation you know it all over the fingerboard now you can start to even move around and two five one all right let's work on this a little bit more we're going to raise the tempo to about 67 and uh get creative for a couple of minutes one two three four
pasa Okay, so different keys, obviously, in your practice time, areas of the fingerboard, horizontally, over. Okay, one more foundational thing we'll go over today. of the D minor chord and then using the neighboring lower and upper neighbor. Either that one or either one. Now that becomes G7. Joe Pass. Mozart. Right, same concept. It's good enough for Wolfgang, it's good enough for us, right? So um, let's figure out a little pattern we can do here. Keep it slow. I have to go to one chord here. Let's go back to that two five for a second. That's the complicated version. You could start by first using just the upper neighbor of each of the chord tones. Right, using different rhythmic patterns.
right? This is the way we come up with the musical ideas, is these foundations. And the foundations of those neighboring tones, which dates back to Mozart and before, is a great way. But we have to know where we are on the fingerboard. So this is where, you know, we got to put it into our practice routine. And, you know, we can't get locked into one way of playing anything, not on the guitar, because there's 50 ways to play it. So we need to jump around that fingerboard and get into the unknown areas to us and figure out where those tones are in the unknown areas. It's going to help when we're in the moment impro improvising. So, um, okay, let's do a little more 251 in C. Let you dance around some of those chord tones. Here we go. A one, two, three, ah. Uh. all those ideas but you got to learn your fingerboard this is a great way to do it go around that two five one slow tempo go into the unknown areas work it out week we're going to do some of the cycle work with this now let's move the tempo up a little bit remember the tempo gets faster you play slower instead of eighth notes you play quarter notes instead of quarter notes you play half notes let the tempo go by and you kind of play the same thing you don't have to speed up what you're playing just because the tempo is speeding up so this is 121. D minor 7, G7, seven, C.
here. It's all great. All right. Hey, good work. Next week, also, I think we get into um, how chromatics fits into these foundational riffs. I hope you can hear uh, the foundation when I'm soloing. I'm really trying to keep that in there. And I, I usually stay in these positions. I don't venture too far out there. But I know where that stuff is all over the fingerboard. And this is how you can create some pretty cool ideas is by knowing the fingerboard. So say you make an idea on your own. Good work. Love it. Thanks. Have a great weekend.